everybody, welcome back to Divinity, Original Sin, the Enhanced Edition. I've moved on slightly from last episode, um, I think we needed to go to the, um, to find the corpse, I think if I remember correctly. Yes, yeah, we need to find out about the corpse. Uh, but in the meantime, I went out and started doing some uh, thievery, shall we call it, or lining our pockets. And I decided to come into the back area since I got the key for Evelyn's house. So we came in here and went down into the grate, into the cellar, where we discovered, where is it, a bloody dagger. And if I can remember correctly, we got, yeah, a book in the house that was called The Perfect Murder, which we need to quiz her about. But first, we need to go and see, I think, the, um, the mortician. Oh, come on out of there. Close the door, that's a good boy. Uh, our mortician is over this way, if I remember correctly. Let me have a look. Yes, it's here. So we shall head into there. I've also picked up a few skills, I think, since last episode. I decided to go and spend some of the dosh that we'd earned from uh, robbing people blind. <laughs> So, where are they? Come on, hurry up boys, the girls. Let's go and see what the mortician has to say. Come on, let me in. Thank you. What have we got in this room? I'm over take that. Oh, better shut the door in case somebody's walking past. Corpse compendium. Nothing else. I think we need to go and keep the mortician busy while I do some. Sneaking about in the back. Yeah, let's go and do that. Alright, let's have a. Who shall we have a word with him? Break off Roderick and let's uh, get her into this corner here and talk to this gentleman. What can I do for you, Sauce Hunter? There we go. Oh, talk to the wrong one. And so let the hunt continue. So, what's the bad news? More orcs rampaging through the docks? Or have those infernal statues sent another soul flying to his death? I'll tell you in a, I'll tell you in a moment. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? Why the hell has that sent me all the way over here? Wow, that's some kind of glitch. Oh, we never picked that up right at the very beginning. I won't go back and get that. Where's... There we are. Well, that was a bit of a glitch. Right, come on. He's busy talking upstairs, so... Just to make sure... What have we got? Robert's ledger. Now this is valuable. Nine inch nails. Hammer. Shouldn't really rob corpses, should we? But they're there, so why not? Nine inch nails. One man's Thank trash you. is another man's trash. Oh, well, damn it. She's already got that. <laughs> it's a bit of a. Disappointment, to say the least. Oh, right. 
Lose that. Join him. Take my leave. Right. Let us have a look, see. Robert's Ledger. Read. Furthermore, I find it impossible that any but, but Mayor Cecil, Captain Aureus, Evelyn, or Esmeralda would have been able to gain access to the body without my noticing. A corpse can't just vanish into thin air, in thin air. and even it could, it's not as though a strong wind could blow a sack of gold onto the empty slab. No one of them must have been involved, but as long as no one goes digging up Jake's coffin, which I've already done, I don't see how the crime could ever be traced back to me. <laughs> Looks like the mortician is rather suspicious about Jake. Uh, yeah, what just... did Mayor Cecil, Captain Aureus or Evelyn have to do with it? Well, let's find out, shall we? Right, where's he gone? There he is. Um, but I need to do some more... Stealing, I think. Yes, I do. Chess key is there. Right, so I need to keep him. Right, so get him over here, that's it. Oh, come back. Right, there we go. So, right, talk to him. what's the bad news? More orcs rampaging through the docks? Or have those infernal statues sent another soul flying to his death? Let Scarlet do some uh, stealing, shall we, for a change? I've got that. Anything else of interest? I don't think. Oh, identifying glass. We'll take it. A cup of water. Why not? And an apple. Uh, so, what's the bad news? More orcs rampaging the docks over infernal statues says a soul flying to his death. And what can you tell about Jake's murder? Sad story, that. Though, if I'm speaking plainly, the sentimental aspect of it all doesn't make much of an impression on an undertaker. Especially not these days, with so many laid low by the orcs and such. I just concern myself with giving the remains a respectable exit from life. We set him to rest in the northern graveyard. Perhaps he can finally get a little peace. Hmm, about that. How do you... Ah, the ledger, is it? Fool was I to leave it in the open. Or perhaps I even look forward to being found out. Well, as you know, I have my suspects in the matter. What would you like to know? Plenty of us shopkeepers entrust the mayor with the spare keys to our businesses, you know. And he's the only person in town with a second copy of the key to the mortuary. He could have used it to sidle in without a peep, if he were so inclined. Aureus himself paid me a visit the night the body was delivered came rapping at my door in the frosty morning before the sun had even started peeping and told me to tell him, and only him, if I noticed anything strange or suspicious about the remains. Can't see why he'd bothered to go through all that trouble unless he knew something the rest of us don't. I know it sounds strange suspecting the doctor's apprentice of something so ghoulish as this, but there's few in this city could manage to transport a corpse without raising eyebrows. It was she who delivered Jake's body from the inn to the mortuary. And there was something about her that night. Some kind of excitement. Seemed she could barely contain her thoughts. That there was something thrilling about to happen. I can't quite settle it in my mind how a young medical professional would have such a strange reaction to an occasion such as that. And this may or may not have anything to do with the whole rigmarole. But her master, Dr. Theleron, bought an old shack of mine, one overtaken by undead, for an exorbitant price considering what he was getting. I never did figure what he wanted it for, but mm. he sure seemed eager. Oh, this sounds extremely fishy. I never saw a widow less distraught at the death of her husband, and I've seen hundreds pass through my parlour. 
It was she who rang my bell just before the body was snatched. Lured me outside, claiming she needed air before discussing the funeral arrangements. Some accomplice could have sneaked in and grabbed the remains while I was comforting the oh-so-overcome Esmeralda. About the bag of gold you received for keeping quiet about Jake's body. That gold's the only good thing to come out of this blasted affair. And I certainly plan on making some use of it. Uh, I think... Well, th there's the choice. It's come now, you've, you're a good man pillar in this community. Hand over this blood money before it stains your reputation and your conscience. Charm. Now, unless you'd like to involve the Legion in the matter, I suggest you hand over your gold immediately. Intimidate him. Or we can reason with him and go surely burst you, you sheep you stole deserves his money. I think we'll go with that. Hand over the gold so we can take it back to its rightful owner. Oh god, here we go. Three, oh, four. I might win this. We never know. I'm curious. It says press space to skip. Since I've got four reasons and he's got three reasons, does that mean that I'll win? Let's find out, shall we? No. <laughs> that, that is not the case. Right, Foul okay. Bags as fat as a heifer. She won't miss that sheep for a moment. And she sure as hell won't starve over it. All right. Well, I'm going to have to tell her then, and then you'll get wafted off to prison. Right, uh, a little quick save there, before I forget, because I am liable to do that. So, what have we got now? I uh, discovered there are four possible people who might have taken Jake's body. Well, we know that. Right, so we need, we need to go back and talk to Esmeralda, I think. Uh, confront her about those and see if she's got any more information for us. Oops, wrong way. Wrong way. Come this way. Nope, not that one either. And we're also going to try and rob Evelyn Blind as well while we're there. In the main room, we've already done a back room and a cellar. We might as well try doing the main shop. See what we can get out of it. Alright, first thing to do so. though is to confront her. Lords above, grant me patience. You're a source hunter, aren't you? Here because you think I killed my husband. How many times do I need to state and restate my complete innocence? Like I told just about every legionnaire in town, I don't know anything about poor Jake's murder. I want his killer found and tried, but everyone suspects me of this evil deed. And you're no different, are you? So what happened? Some of them tittle-tattling crab chasers down the pub call me a murderous gold digger and you believe them? These insinuations truly go beyond the pale. Oh, I think I'm getting one of my headaches. I care to explain this blooded knife. Perhaps it is you who should explain your presence in my cellar. And the dagger? It's simply a butcher knife used by my late husband to cut meat. He did so love to cook the deer. What will you think of next? Accusing me of bashing him over the head with a frying pan? I found your book about the planning the perfect murder. Oh, that horrid tome of ill repute. It isn't mine, it was Jake's. He was a politician, don't you see? Always on the lookout for plotting rivals. Always trying to be one step ahead. Really, I should have thought a source hunter of all people would appreciate my dear husband's sense for survival. Okay then. This love letter seems kind of incriminating. Oh, don't put stock in the hastily scribbled words of a lovelorn fool. This letter, it was a show of passion. A poorly worded passion I did not echo in the least. The Duke, he's like a spoiled child. He's not a man. He's not like Septimus. Well, you found so much evidence against you. Had you not better confess? But all of it is circumstantial. I've a perfectly logical explanation for every piece of so-called evidence against me, and yet you've been trailing me like a bloodhound. People seem to want to believe I am guilty. So let me tell you something I've been keeping to myself. Perhaps it may yet lead to the true culprit. Over the last few months, Jake grew distant. Distant and dark, somehow. Something in him changed. I can't quite put my finger on it, 
but he was no longer the gentle man he used to be. In fact, he scared me. It all began the day he met Evelyn, Master Thelirom's apprentice. She healed him of what we all believed to be a fatal wound he suffered hunting boars. I think he became obsessed by her, or obsessed by the secrets I just know she holds. Talk to this woman. There is more to her than meets the eye. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if she belongs to that sect. You know, to those who worship a goddess without name and practice rituals of blood. Uh, tell me about Evelyn. I never liked her from the moment I met her. Men cannot see past her beauty, but I have gazed her in the eye and it was death that leered back at me. She hails from Silverglen, a village in the forest north of Sysium. How she made it past the undead without a legion escort, I'll never know. Though I can hazard an eerie guess. If anyone killed my Jake, it must be her. She had her claws in him for many long months, and finally she must have cut too deeply. What's she got? Anything good? Ooh, one armor specialist. How much is that? 1100. Um... check on what she's got already okay then thank you very much Esmeralda for the information well, she's a pretty one isn't she uh, right let's check the uh, the old log source hunter's journey the healing apprentice Evelyn is fast becoming our prime suspect in Councillor Jake's murder case. We should look into her affairs more closely. Okay, so we need to pay her a visit. Uh, is that the only one we've got updated? Yes, it is. But we also need to talk to unsinkable Sam, don't we? If I remember correctly. Right, we're going to attempt uh, some uh, thievery now. What have we got here? Alright. So tell me, Septimus, would your wife or sweetheart be compensated by the Legion should tragedy befall you going to on have the stealing? battlefield? I... I suppose so. But seeing that I'm neither married, engaged, or attached in any way, I've never bothered to inquire. Polite, handsome, and single. Don't go anywhere tonight, Legionnaire. I'd be afraid. The hunter returns. I hope you are here to shop uh, rather than sleuth. Okay. Oops. Legion's greetings. I have been informed about your heroics on the beach. Were that I had been there to partake in the battle, but my duties lie here. Sworn as I am to protect Lady Esmeralda from the rabble that would enforce summary justice on her. Even though she is, until proven guilty, wholly innocent. Okay. Uh, right, Johan. See if you can keep this young man here busy. Sneaking successful. Hold one shield. Oh, we don't want folded shoes, do we? No, we don't want those. Get the old wooden shield again now. Alright, well, 
was pretty mean in was. <laughs> I might have got some decent stuff to sell there. Right, let's get ready. Uh, back together, shall we? Okay, right, you can uh, rejoin there. Thank you. Talking to Septimus, what do you think about Esmeralda? So fair a lady I have seldom seen in all of Riveron, my friend. And I have traveled more extensively than migratory birds do. She stands accused of murder. But in my mind, her presumed guilt is a fallacy. And indeed, a fabrication. Steadfast will I guard her. Never will I waver unless absolute proof of her culpability should be brought before me. And I hold no such proof exists. Okay, I'll take my leave. There we go. I will take my leave there. Right. Uh, I was going to have a look at what weapon we have currently. 44 to 56 and 58 armor rating. She's also got some... Ooh! Oh, plus 4 due to level difference. Wow. We'll hang on to that. I think that can be sold. Yep. Send to Roderick. Something is disturbing my dog. Center uh, Roderick. Center Roderick. Ooh, better armor rating. You can equip those then. I don't want to keep her with just in case. A one-hander and a shield. Well, that can go to Roderick anyway. Yes, we will. We'll just keep... Just in case. My, uh, what a strong and handsome officer you are, kind Septimus. You must have fought many a battle, am I right? In fact, I bet you're a real war hero. Oh, I'm no hero, Esmeralda, dear. I'm just doing my duty, you know. So she's got some decent weapons to use well, there. Well, you certainly so are to, uh, my hero. The rock upon which I may rest my bad, weary uh, soul in these trying trolley. and troubled so times. Roderick. Never fear, my lady. As long as I'm around, no hair on your haloed head shall be harmed. Scarlet picked up some unidentified stuff. One perception, one air resistance. You might as well have that. Identify. Identify. Oh. Looks like that's a Roderick. Santa Johan. Center Roderick. Center Roderick. John. John. Oh, no, 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 I'll have to get those back. We'll see. That's close to Jahan. Assure me, dear Septimus, that you haven't been fighting this those stuff awful to sell. orcs. Tell I me. can't bear to imagine something would happen to you. Oh, but don't you worry, lady. We legionnaires are highly trained soldiers who fear neither orc nor demon. Right. Oh, but what if you were to be I was ambushed? going to go and have a quick word with... Oh, <coughs> excuse me, I'm thinking of Sam, wasn't I? Let's go and do that. Well, I think on. Hey, the 
big change on your block with a whale of the good stuff. What's with you, bipeds and beer? No better drink than milk. Uh, who are you? I am Unsinkable Sam. At least that's what they call me around here. Used to be a ship's cat, but the clipper I was on sank when I was the only one to wrestle himself free from the waves. The people here were kind and took me in. Been the King Crab's foremost patron ever since. A magnificent ship she was. Used to belong to a pirate, I was told. Unlike me, she didn't prove to be unsinkable, though. We hit the cliffs right neath the lighthouse. Not very apt a name for that building, I must say, for no light was shining from it. The moment I hit the water, I writhed around like I would on a hot tin roof. By some miracle, I managed to reach the beach, covered in kelp and smelling worse than a fish's funeral parlor. But I was alive, and that was more than anybody else could say. You were the only survivor? So I was. What friends I had. They drowned alongside the rats I used to hunt in the galley. And there I was, all alone. Not that I have it bad here, mind you. I milk and fish aplenty. Most folks will pet me kindly, and when one of the village girls holds me tight against her ample bosom, I purr up a storm. But I do long for a companion of my own kind. And in that regard, there is no one like Maxine. <laughs> there is no one like I Maxine. Sort of myself I, such. So there's the rub. I am but a stray, and she is the mayor's cat. Oh, I do understand her, I do. She wants a tom of means, not privation. One who brings home the sardines and the occasional halibut. Would that I still had my collar. Such a marvel it was. As bejeweled as the night sky with precious stones, said to have once been worn by a far off Maharaja's best hunting cheater. Like the king of all cats, I looked when I wore it. A gift bestowed upon me by a princess whom I had kept company during a long and perilous voyage. A precious band of gemstones, lost as I was tossed around by the waves like a ball in a game of catch. Among the waves it remains, I imagine. Worn perhaps by a crab who fancies himself a Caesar with it. If only I could be the Caesar again, and Maxine my Caesarina. Okay. Did we get an update there? Yes, Kitty Love. Sam told you to wear a fancy collar. If we could find it, Maxine might be convinced. Okay. Right, we need to find out about Evelyn. Let us go and see if she is at the doctor's. What do I owe the repeated pleasure, Source Hunter? Let's discuss your apprentice, Evelyn. Far be it from her to tell her master what in the seventh name she's up to. The girl flew from here like she just heard the location of the Philosopher's Stone. She even left her pouch unattended in the next room. Most unlike her, to be sure. Uh, what about her pouch? She usually keeps it within sight at all times. Very strange she'd leave it behind. It's in the next room if you'd like to take a look. Oh, why do you think she could have run off to? I'd try her house, for starters. It's not far from here. I'll mark the location on your map. Um, do you have any work for a trio of sailors? Sorry, but uh, there isn't much work for sailors in a house of meds. Unless one of them happens to have a secret stash of healing stones. <laughs> Let's discuss the patients Evelyn was attending to. Another family restored, thanks to the healing arts. I'm glad to hear that Stephen will be returning to the comfortable life he's built. Thank you for your help in this matter. Oh, hmm. Let's Tell just check me, this. what would you like to know? What can you tell him about the plague of undead? I've applied myself to that problem for two years and still haven't come a step closer to solving it. I declare it an act of the Almighty's, if I believed in such things. Mm. Some events, Source Hunter, can be neither controlled nor understood by mere men. I don't believe you. The Counselor. Terrible loss, that. Though we were hardly more than acquaintances, I knew him to be a devoted civil servant. From what I can tell, it seems to be a simple case of jealousy turned violent. 
The affairs of his wife, Esmeralda, were hardly a secret, you know. Okay, I'll take my... Oh, no, hang on a sec. What have you got? That's un... Oh, he's got no money. I was going to say we'll unbird and take some of that money off him, but we can't. Uh, right, next room. Oh, Kitty Thayer runs by room. Oh, June! Uh, okay, yeah. we'll take the key. A tone, soothing a corpse's troubled mind. Can't have gotten far. Take the backpack as well. Uh, close the door. Obviously, I've not been in here before. Oh, come here. Come here. Close the door. Thank you. What if we go here? Empty potion bottle. Yes. She realized yes. That her little party tricks hardly make her worthy of such grave Don't want folded shirts. No, no, no. Empty potion bottle. Or anything else? Open the door. In you come. And close the door. Uh, a tone soothing a corpse's troubled mind. Can't have gotten far. Right, key. Painting of a man. Doctor skill book. We're not using that. Painting of a man. Take all that. Twenty-three armor one leadership. Oh, yes, please. Send to Scarlet. Send that skills as well. Shame we're not using anybody with some of this stuff. Alright, let's uh by type. Requires a ranged weapon, right? We've got nobody with a ranged weapon, have we to use these arrows? That's does seem a shame that you know. Um, I'm going to have to make a decision at some point, but I think we might have to change uh, Johan. Over for uh, bed daughter and learn hydrophysis. I can't even say it. Hydros hydrosophist <laughs> on Roderick and Scarlet. Oh, she she's already got it. Okay, so I just need to learn it on Roderick then. Okay, I think we can do that. Light at night, they didn't take then either, have I? Well, we'll carry on this as we are for the time being. Alright, we've got everything, I think. Let's go. Uh, a tone. I'm true. Hour is by the dozens. Um, how much money Let have we got see again? If you could choose the finest green. Two, four, eight, one. Quiet day on the market, it seems. And where we need to go there. Evelyn's house. We don't want to do that. Snake, wing of worm, and... That's not it. Just this way. Indeed. Come now, I'll be good for it. I swear. I never would have dreamt of resorting to petty theft during better times. But what choice have I got now? If it's steal or starve, I'll choose steal. So what do you think? Should I? 
Uh, the merchant needs to eat too, you know. Leave the fish alone. Yes, we don't want him stealing, do we? Because we, we do enough of that in this town. <laughs> there we go. The I think is free for now. But I wonder how long it'll be. Thank you for making that would-be thief see reason. I only hope your instruction lasts. The last thing the plagued people of Sassil need is a thief among them. I quite agree. When I'm here. <laughs> I could do enough stealing for everybody. Right, we should have a key for that. Yes, we do. There we go. What have we got here? Secrets of the scroll. Eulin's diary. Uh, secure lockbox. Letter from the conduit. Curious parchment. Take that. Chest. Reveal spell. A curious glow, nearly indiscernible to the eye, emanates from this parchment. Spotless, save a series of measured words inscribed by a careful hand. Okay, take that. Even this diary, read it. Once Dietmire arrives in with the staff, I will be utterly unstoppable. How pleased the conduit will be. How great the reward she'll grant me when she sees the evidence of my dedication. The council will be of no concern to her now. I take the necessary precautions to disguise the north west beach lair from prying eyes so that only those with knowledge of the spell may enter. I do say I whose little terror taking control of the northern path leading there was quite the unexpected boon. Perhaps a oh, few other fools who will face the monstrosity and my lair will remain undisturbed. May the goddess guide me. I've worried that the conduit has done away with the so-called White Witch. Good riddance, she haunts Lu Lucilla Forest like an ill phantom, wailing over the natural order. Well, her meddling, the strong will rise and the weak will fall. As is their nature, the Immaculate Way will flourish. So, she's got a lair on the beach, does she? Perhaps that's where she stashed Jake's body. Hmm. Right, we've got something else here, though. We've got another chest there. Can we open this? Let's see. Key, lockpick, or hammer. Can I do it? Well, I did. Good grief. Uh, let's identify that straight away. Uh, all this stuff we're getting for rangers <laughs> find it very frustrating right we give Scarlet new hats didn't we 15 17 let's give her that send that to Jahan Roderick equip to Roderick. I take it that he's got the craftsmanship. Yes, he has one crafting. Got all this stuff to sell. Right, okay, let's check the journal. We found Evelyn's diary, which mentions the location of a hidden lair on the beach to the northwest of the city. The entire diary reads like an ominous chronicle that more than suggests that Evelyn is up to no good. We shall locate the lair she mentioned and find out what it is she is hiding there. Okay. 
Have we actually been out of town? <laughs> Not by very far, we haven't. And we've missed that scroll on the beach, haven't we? I'm going to go back and get that in the downtime, I think, and going to sell. And I think the next episode will be mainly exploring the outskirts of Sicile and fighting. So I shall look forward to that. I hope you'll join me. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget, if you like the videos, please leave me a like and subscribe. This is all grey. Signing off.